2014, you completed your 10-year uh, project of recording Mendelssohn's complete piano works uh, for DECA uh, in 10 CDs, right? Yeah. So why Mendelssohn in particular? Mendelssohn is one of the more underestimated composers and uh, I wanted to record his complete piano works because nobody else did that before me. So, of course, there are reasons. Much of his music was hidden in libraries and uh, was rediscovered only in uh, recent years. So I had the opportunity to discover uh, 59 works of Mendelssohn which were never recorded and never published. Also, of course, thanks to uh, the Mendelssohn Stiftung in Leipzig and uh, Ralf Wegner, the musicologist who uh, published the new catalog of Mendelssohn's works. And so far you have uh, performed uh, more than 50 concerts on the pedal piano, you know, since uh, 2011. And as far as I know about it, it is uh, a very peculiar instrument newer than piano but uh, almost forgotten you know in the last century so could you tell us what is so special with this pedal piano the pedal piano existed already many years ago mozart had the pedal piano and played it in concert and um, in the 19th century schumann had the pedal piano and composed uh, several pieces for pedal piano and in france gounod and alcan wrote also many pieces I started playing the pedal piano because I found the manuscript of Gounod Pedal Piano Concerto, which was never played in modern times and never published. So when I found this manuscript eight years ago, I thought it was worth it to learn a new instrument in order to play this piece. And I'm doing a lot now in this year, for example, I'm playing this uh, Pedal Piano Concerto by Gounod, also in France and in England with London Philharmonic and uh, I'm very glad to show you how it works. Okay. Can I help you? Sure. Well, you take so much energy. Almost like tip-tap dance. I think, you know, it's a good gym. I have no time to go to the gym, so, of course, it's a way to keep uh, healthy and fit <laughs> uh, and making music at the same time. I should also add that since I play the pedal piano, my brain improved very much. Really? You know, I improved my multitasking skills. I can do more things at the same time, much more than before. For example? For example, I can uh, keep my three children and my family <laughs> and practicing at the same time. And uh, the musical awareness improved very much. And when I learned the pedal piano, in the first month it was very really hard. I couldn't see any improvement. And one day, very incredibly, by surprise, I felt that I could play it, that I got the independence of the feet from my left hand. And it's like when your brain opens a new track. And from that time, my life improved because I could learn music much faster and uh, I could have a, a wider uh, awareness of what I do in music and also in the domestic life. Practicing paddle piano makes you smarter. So do you think you are now smarter than robot piano? Well, that's a good question. You know, I have a, f a format, a show, which I'm uh, bringing here in China many times. A robot pianist versus human pianist. There is an Italian robot, Teotronico, who claims that he is the best pianist in the world, that he is much better than human pianists because he has no mistakes. And in our show, I try to deliver the message that the mistake is an advantage of humans. There is something that a robot cannot learn, how to be wrong. And we have to learn how to improve from our mistakes. So we have to be proud of our imperfection. And even in making music, what's more important is not to play all the notes perfectly, but to be aware of the emotions, of the feelings, and be able to share the feelings with our audience. This is what makes music something really special, and which can make our life richer.